I've got the Flybear FX9631 J35 out here for its maiden launch this morning. And um, I've cheated a little bit on my stock transmitter. I took a uh, plastic stir stick and cut a section out of it to extend the right mm -hmm. stick. So I've got a little softer, <laughs> a little softer input on the controls. So. I've got it in mode A, which is supposed to be fully stabilized and is supposed to be um, the, the most restrictive, and I've got it in low rate. So, like all my EDF jets, I'm going to launch it at full throttle. All right, there's my wind. Start my timer. Launching. Oh, well, it took off nicely. High alpha. Very high alpha. Let's see if we can bring it back here. I'm barely moving through the air. I calibrated the gyro before I launched it, so it's really got some high alpha to it. I'm having to push the elevator down. It has a pretty good turn radius. Alright, so let's put it into our mid mode. Alright, I've got it in mid mode now, which is supposed to be fully stabilized but less restrictive. See if we can bring it down. I'm going to back off the throttle a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> I think that we need a little nose weight. That's what I think. I think we got a tall, heavy plane. That's what I think. I think we've got a tail heavy plane. I've I put in quite a bit of down angle on the elevator and I'm still getting a significant amount of high alpha out of it. Ooh, almost lost it there. Alright, I'm gonna try and climb up a little bit. It's not got a lot of power. I'm going to try and climb up a little bit and then put it into manual mode and see what we have. Alright, are we ready? Okay, we've got it in manual mode now. That is manual mode. Well, it flies better in manual mode, but... I... Get her flying straight here. <laughs> I'm basically flying full throttle the whole time. I don't have a lot of elevator in uh, full manual mode. Stall it. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> I almost hit myself there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I had to I had to jump out of the way. 
Alright, let's see something here. If I get it... If I could get it handling a little bit better here. Let's see. Oh yeah. I'm definitely going to have to uh, adjust the linkage on this thing. Come on, baby. Yeah, the uh, controls seem very sluggish. You know? In manual mode, which I guess is a good thing to smooth it out. But I would say that the well, the gyro doesn't seem to have any input in manual mode. It does seem to dampen uh, the servos. You know what I mean? And my timer is already going off. Whoa! Okay, I've got quite a bit of tuning to do on this this guy. <laughs> Alright, I am going to put it back into fully stabilized mode here and try and bring it in. Here we come. High alpha, very high alpha, full throttle, full throttle. It's a Harrier. <laughs> it, it landed like a Harrier. That was almost a vertical landing. I, I had to put a lot of, of down trim in the elevator and the stock transmitter. I have not adjusted any of the linkage yet. I did attach a nickel um, as nose weight because it's definitely tail heavy. So I put a nickel um, on the bottom of the fuselage right in front of the front landing gear strut. And that seemed to help quite a bit um, get this out of its high alpha state. So. Let's go ahead and launch it. Okay. I'm switching it into the B mode. I'm switching it into high rate. Okay, so as you can see, with that nose weight, and that's about five grams of nose weight, um, it's much better behaved. So if you were going to use this as a beginner EDF jet, and that's where I think this, I think that's where this is going to really work well, is as a beginner EDF jet. Um, five grams of nose weight. And now I'm not having to fly around with full throttle all the time. Although I do power up a little bit going into the turns. But um, much, much better behaved. It's not real tail heavy like it was it's it's not flying high alpha all the time like it was isn't that cool whoa i almost hit that stick again i'm going to catch that sooner or later i'm going to have to bring a i'm going to have to bring us all out here with me and cut that thing down but isn't that much better behaved and and then and, and b b mode with um high rates you can make a pretty you can make a pretty tight turn with it. I'm not going. You see where it kind of dumped over there? I wasn't even going um, full stick on the aileron there in that turn. And you can make a pretty tight turn with it. But you want to be smooth on it, right? You want to be smooth on it because it's an EDF jet. It doesn't have a lot of power. So you don't want to, you don't want to over control it. You don't want to make too tight of a turn where you're losing a lot of speed. But I think that's that's pretty cool. So I think you know this is definitely not a what I would call a beginner plane. This is not a beginner plane, but I think it makes a good beginner EDF jet once you get that nose weight on there. Once you get that nose weight on there. And flying around in mode B and high rate. That's this is where I think it it excels as a EDF beginner jet. And so this thing has got it's so lightweight. It's got so little mass. I would definitely. I wish I had had this before I flew my first EDF jet. <laughs> Let me put it that way. It handles like an EDF jet. It doesn't have that instantaneous power. 
you know, like an EDF jet. You have to fly around with a lot more throttle with an EDF than you do with a non-EDF. That's just the nature of the beast. But um, it handles pretty well in that mode. And high rate with five grams of nose weight. Now I'm going, you know, now that um, I've used quite a bit of my battery here, I'm going full throttle in the turns and then backing off the throttle a little bit when I get it straightened out. You know, I'm basically pivoting between 70% and 100% throttle. I'm at 100% now. And as you can see, it takes the uh, EDF, EDFs a little bit to, to wind up. So you don't get that instantaneous power like you do with this standard motor and prop. But it's a lot of fun. EDFs are a lot of fun. They're just not as efficient as non-EDF power systems and it sounds like a little jet right <laughs> man isn't that so much better this is my third flight so isn't that so much better than what it looked like when I first launched it when it was so tail heavy and um, I will mechanically uh, trim down the elevators so I'm not having to put all that trim in the in the transmitter every time I launch it. So I'll get it all tuned out and have it flying even better. But this is just my third flight. And I think right now it looks it looks pretty darn good. It's not completely tuned, but it looks pretty good. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it in this mode when I bring it in for a landing. So let's come back around and we'll bring it in and land it. Uh, I should have stayed in the power a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bounce. We got a drag in a wing tip. That was a pretty bad landing. So I'm I'm happy with the way it's handling right now. I've still, like I said, I've got, I got some tuning to do. I still have some tuning to do. But I think I'm going to have this flying pretty nicely. So once I get it all tuned out and handling well, we'll put it back into um, manual mode again. But I think before I do that, I'm going to have to change the linkage on the elevators to give me more pitch. This is designed to be a beginner EDF jet, and I think for that purpose, I think it's going to work out pretty well. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.